And in your book, you talk about the darker side of the industry. Mm. Give me a few examples. What went wrong? So the darker side is um, kind of what you touched on, really. It's sort of like the fact that commercialization and capitalism and how yoga has been distorted to in a way that's kind of become unrecognizable. But you see, just before I go into that more, just what you've said, of course, I mean, yoga studios can't do the whole thing. You know, they've got a business to run and they're going to, you know, we can't maybe necessarily expect them to just cover everything. But, you know, it's so when people go to a practice, go to a class, you know, I suppose what, what could be done is to make it kind of form part of a bigger thing. So people go to the practice like, you know, you might go to mosque or church to kind of be with others who practice the same way as you. But then you've, you're on your own journey. And I think um, the thing with there's so many different styles of yoga and I write about, write about them and I take you know, I'm not always the kindest about some of them. Um, and um, I suppose that's all of the, there's so many different styles of yoga and I'm always having people come to me and say they're confused by the difference between them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a few different um, styles or methods, I suppose I call them um, roots of to practice that emerged in South Asia, different ways of practicing the same thing. Um, and that the 20, I talk about uh, 23 in the book, but there are loads that have been invented by Western Westerners, people in the Western world, a lot actually from America. Um, and I think it's because people have gone traveling and they've liked the practice, the physical practice, because it feels amazing. All these weird shapes we do. That's what I fell in love with. And um, the gateway for the practice for a lot of us is the physical shapes and the postures. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But then to acknowledge that there's more to it and um, it's for your benefit. Actually, you're going to win. Like I say, I'm not interested in being a nun or following a set of rules. I like ripping things up. I like tearing things apart and questioning, you know, going back to that idea of questioning everything. And I do that with the yoga. You know, I'm, I don't agree with everything mm. in the philosophy. I'm not blindly following it all. I'm in, you know, I'm interested in it because it fascinates me, because it opens my mind to, away from the negative thinking actually, like talking about what you're saying, you know, it's, sorry, I've gone off the point, but but that's the dark side. The dark side is the money making, the dark side is um, the whiteness and the lack of diversity. The, 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 the dark side is traveling. I mean, when I went to Bali before the pandemic came to the UK, it's so separate there. There's Indonesians working in these yoga studios who are not benefiting from this wellness culture that has, ended up in Bali and Bali has got yoga studios which are full of full of travelers and full of westerners but they're not kind of giving it's not benefiting the local people that's the dark side to me 